In this guide, I will show you the basic steps in working with Stages. I'm assuming that at this stage, you already have a SimLab Cloud account set up. The first step in working at Stages is to define the organization. An organization is your workspace and a place for your projects. To set up an organization, log into Stages, go to the Organizations tab, and click New Organization there. When the organization is set up, you can start configuring your project. To define a project, go to the Projects tab, and there click the Add Project button. Select the organization where the project will be carried out. Then add the details of the project, its name, brief description, and location. Remember that you can change this information later. The new project will be presented as a tile on your dashboard. To get started with the project, click on the tile on the dashboard. Your project does not have any stages added yet. To add the first stage, click the Add Stage button. In the window that appears, enter the name of the stage and the date of its realization. Confirm the operation with the Confirm button. Repeat the above steps for each stage you want to add to the project. Remember to enter the correct dates. Stages are arranged in order from newest to oldest. When the stages have been added to the project, you can add a component to each stage. Remember that in the web version of stages, you can only use Matterport scans as components. Click the Add Component button, and in the window that appears, select the type of Matterport scan, public or private, enter its name and a link to the scan. You can download the link from the Matterport cloud. Confirm the entered information with the Confirm button. Remember, you must always manually mark the first component as synchronized. In most cases, this scan will be your reference scan to which the other components will be synchronized. Once the components are added, you can proceed to synchronize the stages. To do this, go to the stage you want to synchronize and select the Synchronize option from the menu. On the scan you want to synchronize, select three specific points. When selecting points, remember that the places you have chosen must also be available on the scan to which you want to synchronize the current stage. When you have indicated specific points, Select the stage to which you want to synchronize the current scan. On the selected scan, mark the same specific points that you selected in the previous stage. Confirm the operation by clicking on the Accept Sync button. Done. You have just synchronized your first stages. You can check the correctness of the synchronization using the Compare View tool.
A properly performed synchronization also ensures that the timeline tool works correctly. As you can see, the process of adding the different stages and synchronizing them is easy and only takes a few minutes. Once a project has stages and components, you can add issues and notes to it. To add a note, click the plus icon in the lower right corner of the screen. For each note, you can set its type and status, indicate the stakeholder, and provide a detailed description. You can also add various media like photos, documents, videos, or sound files. You can also record a voice memo or take a screenshot. What is important, you can assign each note a location in XYZ space. The location is represented by a special marker. Let's add some more issues to our project. The notes and issues entered can be presented as a report. To generate a report, go to the Organizations menu and select Projects there. From the menu at the end of the line, select Generate Report. As you can see, the report can be generated using different criteria. Select the parameter you are interested in and click the Generate button. The generated report will be displayed in a separate browser tab. It will also be automatically downloaded to your computer's hard drive as a PDF file. You can also generate a report for a specific issue status. The reports prepared in this way can be part of the project documentation, be an attachment to the acceptance protocol, or present a list of work to be done.